and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a drop down list in Excel. This method works with Excel 2013, 2010 and 2007. So pretty much all versions of Excel. Now over here you can see we have a list of cars. Uh, you may recognize some of these names. Uh, what I want to do is I want to be able to select my favorite car from a drop down list. So this list will be my source of selection, but I want to create in this cell, which is cell F4, as you can see, the drop down list, the drop down box. So anyone can select the car that they choose or they like. Okay. So how we do that in Excel, it's very, very simple with something that is called data validation. So on the menu bar, you can see the option data click on data once you click here you can see over here this option or this menu item called data validation now if you click on this you get these three options again click on data validation and it sort of gives you some explanation of what information is available there click data validation <clears throat> and in this validation criteria you select list and then in the source section this is where your uh, source list would be so what you do is click this button here and it, you go to your source list and start selecting the list itself okay so I, I started I clicked this cell and then I kept on pressing my left mouse button and dragged it down until the end of the list and then click this button again and just click OK and there you go your drop down list is ready now look since I selected from cell B4, I have the <clears throat> I have the list of cards as an option, and then I have all these cards available, and I can select any one that I like. So this is your drop-down list. Now, what if you want to add another item to the list here? Maybe you forgot about it, or if there is new information that you did not have before, and you want to add that to your drop-down list, what you do? <clears throat> If you if you simply add it here at the bottom let's say we have another car range over okay so I added this here and when I look at my drop-down list that is nowhere to be found the last one is Bugatti so I don't find the range over what you can do in this case is let's go back to the original state I always highly recommend changing all of your all of your sources of data into a table in Excel because that makes Excel really smart. So what I am saying is you select this list again, click on insert here on the menu bar and then just click on table. Okay, it asks you for the range, just confirms the range, you just say okay and then as you can see this has become a table now and it looks pretty good as well but what it does also is makes excel really smart now if i add the car here now you will see that the table range has automatically been updated all the formatting has been updated but not only that everything that is linked to this table also starts picking up this information so if i go back to my drop down list and if i drag it down you see range rover is available so this is ideal if you have a constantly updating list if you expect changes to your original source you know if you convert this information into a table this data into a table you can you don't have to come back and do the whole process again of uh, creating your drop down list okay so now you may have noticed that all these cars are really European cars, right? BMW, Audi, Mercedes. And you may be wondering which countries do these cars represent? So for example, BMW is Germany. And you may also be thinking, is there a way to link two drop down lists in a way that, you know, for example, if I select the country, my second drop down list automatically only gives me the options to choose from those cars which represent that country. Hmm, interesting. Yes, this is possible in Excel and this is what is uh, what we what is called a dynamic drop down list or a dependent drop down list. So if you want to see how that is done, 
actually I'm going to follow through with the same example so check the link on the description below I have my other video where you can see how we can create a dependent drop-down list or a dynamic drop-down list I uh, hope you like this information if you did please click, click like and uh, subscribe to my channel for more information for more excel training videos and do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section and tell me which car is your favorite car out of these european cars thank you